For years, this is how women in Cuba have boxed. Sparring in rudimentary gyms with whatever equipment they could scrounge. While men's boxing is a sport the island has long dominated, women's boxing did not bear the government's stamp of approval. Meaning women boxers had to train on their own and were unable to compete in tournaments at home or abroad. It was a missed opportunity to show how formidable Cuban women can be in the ring, says trainer Namibia. Whether it was sexism or simply the slow pace of progress they were up against, at long last, Cuba's female boxers are getting their title shot. In December, Cuban boxing officials said a new league for women would be created and that they hoped female boxers could represent the island in the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. We took this step when we were sure, really convinced, he says, that it was the moment and we didn't have any concerns because our women would be protected. Weeks later, 12 women made history as they competed for a spot on the team. Cuba has long produced some of the world's best male boxers, but women were prevented from taking part in the sport here. Now that that glass ceiling has finally been broken, at last the moment for Cuba's women boxers has arrived for them to shine. Any doubts about the women's fighting abilities were quickly put to rest as they came out swinging. These athletes know they will still need to change some minds about whether they belong in the ring but say, at long last, attitudes are shifting. It took years for this moment to arrive. And while Cuba's women boxers are only just beginning to fight, simply being in the ring means they've already won the first round. Patrick Ottman, CNN Havana.